I love what this commenter advised on one of my videos when I'm talking about dating, where they say that, how about we go from being suspicious to curious? I've had such a hard time dating again because I really want to be shrewd about the type of men that I allow in my sphere. I want to be really shrewd about red flags I see in the beginning. I don't want to give people the benefit of the doubt. They have to prove that they're trustworthy before I will trust them. I no longer just go out the gate trusting a man or a woman for that matter. It's been really sad in my middle age to realize this about people, but I think it's a lesson that is hard won and extremely valuable going forward. So how can we be more curious when we're meeting new people as opposed to being suspicious? I think it really comes down to getting to the heart of things and leaning towards love. I live my life this way. And in fact, in the first half of my life, I always led with love, but I led with love in an almost naive fashion, meaning I always gave people the benefit of the doubt. I just assumed the best in them. I saw the best in them. And then when they would mistreat me or I would see toxicity, I would ignore it because I was trying to see the best in them. Again, I was leaning towards love and I always have. I love that about me and having to be suspicious out here in dating because I have been burned for this way that I've lived my life was truthfully very sad for me. It was a very hard pill for me to swallow that now I was going to have to start being this like shrewd hard ass so that I didn't get screwed over or kicked in the face by a toxic person, a dishonest person, or somebody that just didn't have the best intentions for me in mind. But now I'm realizing that you can still lead with love and be curious. I want to always understand why people are who they are. And that's one of the things that I love about social interactions. And it's what I love about myself. And I love getting to know people and hearing their story. And then I can make healthy and loving judgments based on what they tell me. So an example would be, if I start to recognize red flags early on in a date with a man, then I can ask more questions and listen for his answers while listening to my intuition. And as I hear his story, there, were, there, there will often be things that line up with the red flags. And when I see those things coinciding, I can lead with love in understanding why this person may be the way that they are, but it doesn't mean that I have to let them in my sphere. How many times have you been with a partner or given a partner much longer time in the relationship than you should have because you knew their story and you knew why they did what they did? That pretty much sums up every relationship that I've ever had. I stayed too long or in toxic friendships. I allowed that person access to me and I spent time with them because I knew their story and I knew their traumas and I gave them the benefit of the doubt and I gave them love knowing those things, understanding that that's why they were being toxic. But now I'm realizing that I don't have to give them access to me and I shouldn't give them access to me, but I can still lead with love and I can still hold on to those parts of me that see the best in other people. So I don't have to be horrible to them. I don't have to be a cow. If I feel like they're hurting me and that I've let them too close and I've recognized that I've made a mistake in allowing them the access that I have allowed them, I can do what Mel Robbins says and just let them continue to be who they are and slowly back away in a nonviolent way. That is leading with love while protecting my boundaries. I can also really be careful in the way that I talk about them, in the way that I treat them when I run into them, in moments where I haven't really chosen or planned to see them, but I run into them because we have mutual friends or whatever. I can choose to lead with love, meaning I'm kind, or if I'm dating and I recognize the red flags right away and or I hear their story and I understand that there's probably unresolved trauma there that I don't want to deal with, I can let them know in a kind way that I'm no longer interested in proceeding, but not doing it in a way that is disrespectful, like ghosting them. In all of these ways, we can be curious instead of suspicious, protect our peace and lead with love.